morning. Today I'm going to talk about a very important cancer in women called ovarian cancer or cancer of the ovaries. This affects mostly women over the age of 50. So around the age of menopause and 50% of those women are over the age of 65. So it's, it's a disease which is not very common in younger women. This is a very important cancer in my view because the early diagnosis of this cancer is difficult and if it's picked up early the outcome is very very good. So let's discuss this further. What causes ovarian cancer? In many women the cause remains unknown. However, many of these women who develop ovarian cancer they usually start their periods very earlier on being 12 or 13 years old when they start having their first period and they finish their periods quite late. A gene called BRCA gene which is sometimes runs in the families increase the risk of ovarian cancer. Previous history of breast cancer or bowel cancer and especially in the case of bowel cancer when women had radiotherapy to the pelvis for rectal cancer that increases the risk of ovarian cancer because ovaries lie very close to the rectum and they get exposed to the radiotherapy and increases the risk of developing ovarian cancer later on in life. Women who use hormone replacement treatment after menopause increases the risk and also women who during their fertile life don't use any hormones like contraceptive pill or any other hormonal treatment, then they are also at high risk of developing ovarian cancer. Smoking and obesity and diabetes, they all increase the risk of ovarian cancer and also endometriosis. Now, some of these conditions I've discussed in my videos before, so do please have a look at those videos. The symptoms of ovarian cancer are very non-specific because many of these symptoms I've written over here can also happen with other conditions and many of those conditions are benign conditions. So diagnosis can be quite tricky, especially earlier on in the disease. Hence, picking the ovarian cancer early just from clinical symptoms can be quite tricky. Swollen abdomen, swollen legs, and despite that losing weight, especially legs become quite sticky so uh, the body becomes large whereas the legs become very thin they get low back pain sometimes they sometimes get constipation sometimes gets diarrhea they have desire to pass urine more frequently and they can't hold urine easily either and also postmenopausal bleeding can happen from the vagina in some of these patients it is very important to keep a mind open from the doctor's point of view to be highly suspicious of this condition when any of these or many of these symptoms present and especially if these symptoms are happening again and again over a period of weeks or months. How is ovarian cancer diagnosed? When the patient goes to the doctor, the first thing the doctor will do is examine the patient. This examination might not just be abdominal examination, but they might want to do an internal vaginal or even rectal examination. Blood tests will be ordered. The main diagnosis is made on ultrasound scan and most ovarian cancers can be picked up or can be suspected on ultrasound scan. Once the diagnosis is made, then further tests are sometimes ordered not all of them, but quite a few of them can be ordered depending on which part of the world and which center we are in. CT scan, MRI or PET scan to see how early, how advanced the cancer is. A keyhole operation or laparoscopy can also be done under general anesthetic to take some biopsies or samples of the fluid from the tummy to check under the microscope again to see what type of cancer it is and also to see how advanced or how early the cancer is. What is the treatment for ovarian cancer? In simple words, whether it's a curative treatment or palliative treatment, which means the disease is early so it can be treated and the patient is fit for treatment. If the disease is very advanced to treat, to cure, or the patient is not fit for treatment, then 
it becomes palliation. So curative treatment, the two main forms of treatment is surgery and chemotherapy. Surgery involves removing obviously the ovaries, also removing sometimes the uterus, a hysterectomy, and also sometimes removing part of the bowel or lining of the tummy, the omentum, and where the disease has spread to other parts of the body. Chemotherapy with or without surgery, either before surgery or after surgery is also given and is quite effective in the case of ovarian cancer. Very rarely radiotherapy is given for symptoms like pain and hormone treatment is also very occasionally given. Palliation to control the pain of the patient, psychological support of the patient and also to give them nutrition because the cancer in advanced stages stops the patient from eating and getting very malnourished. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, then please do remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about this disease or any other related disease, then please do write them in the comment section. I'll be very happy to answer your questions to the best I can. Thanks for watching again. Take care. Until next time.